What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Stacy with Sand Trans LLC where we driving for financial freedom. I'm back with another hot shot video and today we are doing brake maintenance and also brake repair um, on a trailer the brakes were not working so it's a combination of things that we're gonna go over today uh, wiring um the uh brake booster and the hubs packing bearings and also replacing the um electromagnetic on the brake assembly but so far what we've done this thing it burnt burnt slap up so we end up having to replace it that was number one because it burned slap up due to the electromagnetic failure inside of the uh, brake assembly so you guys stay tuned i'm gonna go through it piece by piece just be patient with me and uh here we go we've already done one side we're about to do the other side so stay tuned all right so now we've got the wheels off so here's the hub assembly so our next move, we're gonna be removing the oil cap. Once we get the oil cap off, there's a uh, collar key that we have to remove behind here. Also the castle nut, washer, and bearing. So that's that section right there. Be right back. Okay, so here's the castle nut. I'm backing it off real quick. We already took the collar pin out. And um, behind here is the washer and a bearing. And by the way, guys, this is my first time doing it. So I'm not, I'm not a professional or nothing like that. But I, I watched a, a lot of YouTube videos and I saw my mechanic do one of them. And uh, he hadn't made it back out here yet. And we got a load. So, say when in doubt, do it yourself. Get the bearing coming out. Good to go, all greased up. So now our next move is uh, we're gonna take the hub off. We went to Ace and bought a hub puller uh, from Ace, which is about six bucks. And uh, I'm going to attempt to pull this hub off. So, guys, stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, so now this is the Ace hub puller that I got. Just basically take your two screws, put on there, and then you start spinning it out. And uh, the hub will come off. And a quick thing, man, never beat your hub off because that's what we did and that's what messed the seal up. Before we had the hub puller, we didn't know. But if we would have known that, we could have saved ourselves some time and um, a seal. But we had to take this off anyway because the electromagnetic on this brake is also bad too. Close here. There we go. That's it. Alright, that is it right there. I don't have to take it off a little bit more. Alright, so once we get it off, we'll be back. Show you guys what the uh the inside looks like and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got the assembly off. Here's the spindle. Uh, you see where the uh, magnetic brake is laying at? You can look at the wires. See how it's all charred up, man? 
causing a short. And how I found the short is uh, with my meter. I metered it from uh, the 12 volt to ground and it, it read zero ohm. So I knew there was a short. But uh, because of the short, man, it, it, it burnt up the main power line uh, going to the going back to the uh, power box and burnt it up also. Here, if you can look right here, and this is all, this, we caused this problem by, by banging on it, but we busted the seal and of course it leaked oil everywhere. So we got to clean all that up off the hook. And uh, so when we put the seal back in, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you uh, the kit that I got. Matter of fact, let me go we'll get that now before I go to break. So you can see what the kit looks like. Oh, the kit, extra one. Just that. Oh, here you go. Yeah. So right here is the kit. I got 12k, 12k Dexter axles. That's the magnetic kit. I picked the kit up for Napa. <laughs> Uh, believe it or not, we got lucky. They only had two in the entire state of Georgia, and it was only 30 minutes from us. So, so we're doing everything we can to get this load down to Texas by Monday. But uh, right now, I'm about to install this uh, electromagnetic kit. Uh, it's real simple. You just basically untap these connections, run that through the spring, right out the back, connect the two brake lines, and you're done. So stay tuned, be back again. All right guys, so I got the new magnet on. Um, so like, like the previous video, you saw my magnet was hanging down, you saw the wire charge. So I got the new one on. Uh, you, you need to grease this little, this little slidey thing right here with some green grease to make it uh, slide any uh, moving parts you want to throw you some grease on there and uh, but the basic way this thing works is when the power comes here it energizes this magnet at 12 volts that comes through here it energizes the magnet and when the magnet gets energizes it sticks to the hub or well, when it sticks to the hub it causes this piece right here to move and opens the brake <sighs> that's the way it works so we're getting close, just gotta wire them up. Uh, we've put the bearing in. Got the new bearing in. Well, no, we're about to put it in. Oh, is it in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, dude. Yeah, he's gonna get some wood together. Put the block of wood across there. You drive it down to seat it in. So we're getting close. We're getting close, we've been working on it for about 30 minutes, so. We'll let you know, guys know how it go. Stand by. All right, YouTube. So we're about to wrap it up right now. We went ahead and checked this one, changed the seal in it also. And uh, all we gotta do now is just put the cap on it. We, we actually greased the bearings and we're gonna run some oil also, just kind of double protection. But uh, it can be done. First timers, me and Magnus Dolph is back on the scene. Mr. Keep, Mr. Keep Trucking is back on the scene once again. And so, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to give it another run. But uh, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Hey, listen, if you guys got any tips for me on making things easy as far as changing the, the hubs, you know, how long the magnet should last, um, where I should get the parts from if you got a, a good deal because we, we bought um, the seals from Napa and we bought the magnets from Napa but if you guys got a, a place where we can get the parts at, you know better quality parts or better prices definitely drop a link but that's it for now this is Stacy with Sand Trans LLC where we drive and for financial freedom and uh, this is all about hot shot trucking man so y'all stay tuned for the next video I'm out